Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Kotze, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Everett Clinic in Washington, and I'm going to be talking to you about tennis elbow. Tennis elbow is a common term that is used to describe pain on the outside of the elbow from a tendon injury uh, on the elbow here. So if you look on the outside of your elbow, there's a bony prominence that you can feel with your fingers. It's right underneath the skin there. And there are tendons that attach to this prominence here. And these tendons turn into muscles over here in your forearm. And then those muscles eventually connect to a few tendons that go down to your wrist. So when you use your hand to grip something, or you bring your wrist back or forward, these tendons move and the force is transmitted down here all the way through these muscles here all the way to this spot right here where these tendons attach onto this piece of the bone. Now if you have an injury to these tendons where you overuse it or you really stress that tendon there you can have damage to the little tendon fibers here and that damage usually heals but when you combine that with overuse of the tendon uh, that tendon doesn't heal and you get permanent damage to that tendon here and that turns into pain on the outside of your elbow every time you try and use your hand to grip something twist something heavy like a jar or even use a keyboard for a computer and in cases when that pain is really bad that pain can become constant and is there even when you don't use your hand and it can even wake you up at night if it's really severe so the diagnosis is made by your doctor and your doctor is going to take a careful history and you're going to tell him that most of your pain is right here on the outside of your elbow not anywhere else and it's made worse when you're using your hand or gripping something your doctor will find out which spots on your elbow really hurt will put you through specific maneuvers and when those are done and the doctor is pretty convinced that this is a classic tennis elbow he may get he or she may get an x-ray just to make sure there's no other reason that you have pain in your elbow most of the time there's no changes on your x-ray when you have tennis elbow and if your doctor wants to be uh, even more sure that the diagnosis is tennis elbow he can put some numbing medicine around this tendon here with an injection and if your pain goes away then he would be pretty convinced that this is a tennis elbow now once you make that diagnosis then you can uh, give some treatment and the first treatment option for this is stretches and these are stretches that you can do at home uh, and the stretches are meant to uh, stretch this tendon out uh, because sometimes these the muscles here can become very tight and if you stretch these muscles out take some stress off of these muscles it'll take stress off of the tendon that it's attached to and give it a chance to heal another thing that can be used is a brace and a counterforce brace is a special brace that goes right here on the outside of your forearm and that brace is meant to take stress off of these tendons here and put it right here instead so it moves the stress point of, um, of the muscle here when you're using this tendon over here and what that does is if you take stress and put it here and you take it away from this area then this area has a chance to heal another thing that can be done uh, to help with the pain is a steroid injection now a steroid injection can help decrease inflammation around that tendon there and allow this area to heal and sometimes patients need formal therapy to teach them the stretches and the strengthening and all the exercises that should be done and usually when you combine all three of these things here or four of these things here uh, 80 percent of patients get excellent pain relief but in 20 percent of those patients they need to think about another treatment option namely surgery so in surgery 
This can be done arthroscopically, uh, and the surgery is meant to, or the goal of surgery, is meant to remove the damaged tissue. So we make a small little incision on one side here, make another small incision on the other side of the elbow. We put in a camera that goes through there. This is my basic uh, picture of a camera here. This is about four millimeters wide, so it's a very small camera. We can look uh, on the inside of this tendon here, and then we can use a very small little instrument here and clean up all the damaged tissue. And we basically take out all this damaged tissue in here. And usually uh, what is left is a small uh, little defect right in here. And this area here will fill in with new healed tissue here. And that new tissue will not be painful. And that has an 80% success rate. So 80% of patients who go on a surgery get some form of pain relief. Many people get complete pain relief, uh, but most people say that their pain goes down from an 8 out of 10 to let's say a 2 out of 10. So it still might bother them with some very strenuous type of activity, but um, the worst of the pain is usually gone. There are risks, however, with surgery. Uh, again, the biggest risk is that it may not take away the pain, uh, but other risks are very rare, uh, such as infection or elbow stiffness or nerve injury. Um, and uh, while they are rare, uh, these things do still have to be considered. And so generally, I recommend surgery as a last resort when all the other treatment options have not worked and you've given it at least uh, a few months uh, for this to, uh, to, to heal uh, on its own without surgery.